Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be the semi-final match for the TBL, the Team Battling League, and we are up against uh, Leo, Six Foot Hacks, and Shuffle King. And uh, this is going to be a rematch from the final week of the season when we kind of may or may not had a cute Charm Sylveon, but we can talk about that with our partner in Vivid Color. I made the Sylveon bad, and this Sylveon also had cute charm for a while, but it's because Root made the team and it was a joke. I think it was like an intentional, like a little bit of an intentional jab. <laughs> I mean, I was just waiting for you to see it so you can, uh, so you can talk about it, but then, uh, you know, stuff happened. So anyway, let's 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 do some some talking about this season, right? So this has been a really interesting season, I think, right? Yeah, it's been, it's had its ups and downs. <laughs> we had a really interesting season because a lot of our losses didn't feel like losses, right? Like, the Q, the Q Charm Sylveon was its own thing, like, separate from anything that we could have right. done in that situation. And yeah, we also had that one week where I choked with that Delmize on that Zero Aura. And we had that other week where there was that Scarf Diggers Bee that we kind of didn't weren't what was able to manage but all of those right. felt really addressable all, all, all those felt like we could have won we had a strong opportunity to win the only match that i think that we just got beat was that crustle yeah the crustle mat the crustle was bustle so for me it's it's tough to feel like we didn't do well this season like 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 we shouldn't be here ultimately and we did kind of bring a little bit of a meme team against leo and shuggle in the final week and we're back with a slightly more real team yeah less less scarfs more thought <laughs> yeah but like barely right i mean Re no oh uh we we built this one before hours before the battle we were pretty we were pretty finalized on a team sometime last night so no i mean like barely more scarfs Let oh sure yeah, yeah barely barely less scarfs but much more thought there's two scarfs yes. as opposed to i wanted six we ended on four the last match yeah right 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 but one of my biggest takeaways, right, is that we held back on Scarf Rotom because I thought it was too good of a bring last time. And I really hope that it can shine in, in, in this one, ultimately because I think uh, against their match with Randy and their Scarf Togekiss, I think their team kind of struggles with really fast uh, flying spam. And I feel like it can be a big difference maker in this one. Yeah, I agree. I also think the Sylveon being able to address like a fully defensive Arcanine like they brought last week is also a good, it's like a good bring. Cause this week we're bringing a Sylveon that has access to a Wish and Heal Bell as well as Toxic so that we can always switch in on like these bulky Arcanines that are just trying to like flamethrower Toxic and then heal and Toxic them back right. and heal off the Toxic, so. Right, and we talked about it a little bit before, but I think we've kind of conditioned them a little bit now to believe that that we think that our kind of win con is going to be the Sylveon. Because Sylveon came so close to kind of winning the entire match last week we have a really fun kirim set that i'm excited about and i think sylveon can open the doors for kirim or goon really really well in a way that uh, i think is interesting and i think that its role here is definitely more as a, a supporter and i really hope that they kind of are a little bit more more scared of it this week i hope that they overbuild around it honestly yeah. all right so we are here about to get back into this one uh go ahead and press a i'm really excited to see what, what the heck I, what, they, uh, what the heck they bring i feel like all at right. least in this matchup i think there are no pokemon that i'm like like in, in our past matchups, there there's always like one Pokemon around. Like if they bring this Pokemon and it's Scarfed or Specs or Insert Set here, we just lose. So I feel like there's no Pokemon like that, at least. All right, check opponents. Uh, this is the exact same team plus Stunfisk as last time. What was what's, what? Yeah, what was Stunfisk, was Stunfisk? Take the place of? Uh, man, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't actually know. Uh, shoot, man. Who are these guys? The Death Valley and Cinerars? The Stunfisk was... Scrafty. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. No Scrafty this time. However, uh, you know, you definitely kind of fear the Stunfisk a little bit. I thought that Stunfisk was a 100% a no-bring. Uh, so that's super interesting to me. Um, it was uh, one of the reasons why, why, why we ultimately decided against Surf. So what, I what do you think we lead here? Yeah, I could see a case for most leads. I mean, honestly, kind of part of me just wants to lead off with this Delmize. Okay. I think I think it deals with a decent amount. Uh, it kind of deals with any lead except the Arcanine here. I think. Yeah. 
I'm fine with that. I'm fine locking yeah. it in. Yeah, especially because the Sunfisk feels like a little bit of 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 an X Factor and a potential lead here. Right. Like um, maybe a rock a Roxmon. Yeah, yeah, I, I could definitely see it as some weird like rocks discharge set that just wants like I could also just see them leading Savali, so. Yeah, that too. But uh that's something that we're I, I don't know, that this Dumb Eyes is like mildly prepared for, but we'll see. Yeah, this is definitely the okay, this thing. Cool. No, I, now I have no idea how offensive we are in in relation to how defensive this thing is, but if I it's guess max can, defense, uh, it lives a power whip every time. Yeah, but I feel like we had the power whip regardless, right? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I think there's no way we're not power whipping here. Yeah, this thing doesn't like it doesn't have moves to hit us. Like it can toxic us if it wants, but like it has nothing to do to us offensively. Yeah, yeah. I think they just have to pull out here. Yeah, it Exotic? invites in. What is this? Oh, I think that's the. Oh, okay. uh, oh yeah. So I think this is an easy Sylveon for us here. Right, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy Sylv. And... That's good damage. Know. Look at that damage. <laughs> dope, do dope ass damage. That's shit, baby. All right, so we're, we're locked in on Sylveon here? I think so. Yeah, because it's probably just going to Toxic, right? Even if it, or if Toxic or Flamethrower, Sylveon eats right. either pretty well. And right, then right. is our play our play is to toxic in return or do we are we trying to like pull some double? Are we heal bellowing? What are we doing? So we could toxic. I think toxic might be obvious, but also I I'd be mildly surprised if they wouldn't want to teleport instead of hard switching out. So it could be an opportunity for, for us to, to cheese in a, a toxic before something crazy oh, happens. Sure. Yeah. That is true. Um so I don't quite know. I think we can um, try and choose the Toxic. The problem is, I guess the problem is we don't have like a Gengar switch in, which seems like a really good switch into Sylveon, right? Yeah, no, that's fair. I mean, yeah. Well, I, uh, I don't know if we'd have a Gengar switch in. We have the Goon, but mm, I don't know. I would just hit up the Toxic. We, we can see whatever yeah. happens here. Honestly, I would, I would be mildly surprised to not see the... Silvali come in potentially the the stun fist, but I think Silvali is just kind of just kind of manages us, us better, right? Uh, especially if it's another AV Silvali, which we don't know yet. But uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So right into yeah. the stun fist. Do we take this time to go for a hill bell then? We could. We definitely could. Um. Now I think we have to remind ourselves. Uh, this, the Delmise no longer has rapid spin, but the Rotom has. Rotom now has defog. Defog. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So I think we can go for heal bell here. We can go for. I mean, uh, if anything, wish. we could probably wish wish into heal bell. Yeah. Okay. Let's that, do that. That that feels little drawback to me. Yeah. Hit yeah. It. I like that play. Uh, especially if they. Yeah, because whatever they do this turn, I'm I'm not I, I wouldn't be the most concerned. So Stealth Fox really only hurts our Rodon. I believe so. Oh, I guess and it the hurts Kiram. the Kiram too. Hmm. But I think we can prioritize getting rid of them moderately early and not, and ideally right. not deal with it. Right, yeah, yeah. I think but yeah, I don't for, think for Kiram to be a super solid win con, I think we have to get rid of them. Yeah, absolutely, like, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so now we're going for the Hill Bell. Absolutely. And then... They're probably going to switch here. No? Oh, they're just staying in for the damage. Okay. They're going to discharge us, and then it's going to get a para. What? <laughs> okay. That's... That's... That's that's a play. That's... I guess they thought that we were... Oh, they thought we were going to pass the wish off on something else. Oh, uh, sure. But what... Whatever. What, what, yeah, I what don't was know. the option there? I guess Rotom, right. right? Maybe? I don't know. Does this feel like a hyper voice, or are we switching here? I would we just hit up a hyper. Yeah. I think hyper voice makes sense here, especially because so whatever too. they would bring in, we can toxic it. Although, although now they know that Gengar like is good here. Right. Yeah. Um. Gengar doesn't yeah. like. Yeah, this feels like Gengar. Less than yeah. Th yeah. This is an easy Gengar. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot, man. And I think this has to... Wow, that is... 
damage. Shoot. <laughs> and, and and I think that's an easy goon for us here, right? right? This is another Black Sludge one. So it could go for sub. If it goes for sub, should we oh, our curse our hyper voices curse body disabled? Yeah. So we yeah. have to go out. We could. Mm, if you really think that they're gonna sub, we can go into Healer Lisk and Volt Switch out. Oh sure. Well no, okay. well, no, we don't outspeed with this one. Uh, we could oh, go into okay. we we can go into into Rotom and Volt Switch out. That's true. What do you want to do here? Uh, I think we. Uh, I don't know. That's taking a lot of damage on Rotom. Like we'd have to switch to go into Goon? twice at that point. Yeah. The Go problem ahead. is okay. So like my I, my thought process right now is that if they sub and then just focus blast us, we're in super negative territory. So what do you want to do? Parting shot here. Shoot, man. Do you want a parting shot here? Uh. We can parting shot in, in, into Delmai's break the sub and then. Yeah, yeah. I that like gives that. us that gives us some kind of something going on. Right. I think that's kind of what we have to do here. Because if they go for Focus Blast on this turn, like it's... Does this does Parting Shot even lower stats through sub? It does, oh, yeah. I guess so. It's, okay. It's a sound-based move, so it goes sound through. Sound-based move? Okay. All right. Well, they know we're Scarf now, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, I just think, like, if they go for Focus Blast here, and then we're in with Goon, it's super negative EV. They're never going for a ghost type move, I don't think. So I guess they go for poison here, then we know that Goon's a little bit safer. We take a lot of damage on our boy here. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot, man. This is not what I expected. I guess that wasn't- I think, I, uh, that's that's not oh. great. I'm, I mean, we still take a hit, right? And with, with Kasib, I, I believe we still take, we should take a hit. Um, and, and, and we know that this thing is is a non-boosting item, so I believe that confirms that we should take a hit. Yeah. Uh, I would just yeah, hit it with. Should do, hit it with the shadow. I would just ball. hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Just get it from behind a sub. Yeah. It sucks that we're like essentially sacking our Delmise here. I guess we should have just stayed in with Goon. Like we eat a sludge bomb from with Goon pretty well. Well, I guess it's not that well actually. <laughs> and then yeah. poison the spit up the spit up job super doesn't matter here but you get the point <laughs> yeah i mean honestly honestly i think i don't know i think delmise was was a little bit of a of a six one i don't think that delmise is ever going to be like a real win con i mean it, it, it is a mildly unfortunate against the um Silvali, but if there was a sack to be done for for the sake of the sub it was definitely this one we're clicking shadow claw here right yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. okay Now, what I'd be interested in is if we can go, if we could reasonably go into, into Rotom and do something. Now, Rotom would have to click Dark Poles. Rotom would have to click Dark Poles. Yeah. Um, we could potentially go into Helisk. No. We do not speed. Yeah. It feels like a Rotom or Goon play here. Rotom doesn't KO. Goon potentially does, but allows in the Cobalion. Uh, we could parting shot again, but that gets, you know, dubious. Uh, we could Rotom into Volt Switch. Yeah, but yeah, but it, it doesn't KO, which I mean... It, it, it's going to force us to take a hit no matter what happens, which is which is not the best right now. I think we should go into the Goon and uh, parting shot, honestly. Okay. Nope, I think I'm that's ready. like our I think it's our best line of play right now. Man, these rocks are they're they're chipping away. I think it's just goon into part they know we're scarfed. Presumably they'll go out into Cabalion. Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't super know what this lets in. Oh wait, what is this? This is a Cabalion. Arcanine. Oh, okay. I say with the defog now. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Especially, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah, think there's agree. any reason. Yeah. I think we defog now. It, it, did we kill? Have we killed the stunfisk or no? It's still alive. No, yeah, no, it's it's still up. 
Okay. But Unflipped but I mean Sunfisk. I mean I mean I I mean I don't I don't think I ran any Sunfisk counts, but I I wouldn't be too worried about Concerned. it. Concerned. If, if it if it comes back in like chip down a little bit, I I feel like an Earth Power just does what it needs to do in this situation. Right. Right. right my point is I th I think that um. Kiram is still in a position to like do what he needs to do ultimately. Right, yeah. Is is my point. Oh, we even got the switch here. Very cool. I think Scientology. Interesting. What is this? That's still volley. Oh, okay. Is that steel? Uh need to check. Well, that mildly looks like steel to me, but I don't know. How do you how do you check again? You press like X or something? Yeah. Or yeah, plus plus. plus. Or no, oh, no, no. It's that. it's Y. Why? It's normal. No, it's normal. So I think we have to play off of it being A V again. Where do we go? Mm. Are we just out into Sylveon here? I mean, I kind of want to out into into Goon, but it's not the best play. Goon's I not think, bad. I'm fine with it. I would say either Goon or Heal this. Okay, I think Goon makes a lot more sense. Goon, Goon here takes hits presumably better. I mean, they could just go for like a U turn or something, but. Yeah no, and you know, and honestly, I I often forget how defensive uh, Goon is. Right. But. Oh. Yeah. So, are we just trying to get damage off on this thing, or like, what's the play? I think we have to. I think, I think if we let this thing fuck around, it 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 just uh beats us. Savali sword stance. Set. So the interesting thing is that like right the they they would have to. Just, just hit close combat now. We're also yeah. super low on time. You have to like click buttons now. Okay. Actually, double edge does almost as much and doesn't lower our defenses, so that probably would have been mildly better. But I think we're. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, no, plus two, we're dying to anything. If we get a crit here, damn. Oh, this is oh so they are mildly bulky though. Yeah. But no, my point is, if they flame charge and we take a flame charge, yeah, no. Uh, my point sure. is, yeah, yeah. My point was that that if they flame charge and we took a flame charge, then then we still KO on the second hit anyway, and they're leftover. So that's interesting. Okay, so this feels like a hard Heliolisk, right? Um, it checks out. Volt switch. Kills. Volt switch looks like a roll. Th we would have to Thunderbolt, which. Is kind of precarious. Um, and we could hy hyper voice. Obviously, that makes us soft to their goats. But I kind of feel like we just had to click hyper voice anyway. I think so too. We could click thunderbolt, but then obviously the stun fisk is in the back, which uh, is not right. a sense that I like to say. The stun fisk is in the back. Yeah, no, I think I think hyper voice is a full send here. Yeah. I mean, if we were super lords and we knew that they were going to switch into one of the ghosts 100%, we could dark pulse, but I think we kind of have to just kill this thing. Like, you know, and, to... you know, and, and it sucks because this isn't quite low enough to 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 be able to KO with, with dark pulse. Otherwise, that would 100% be the play. Right, yeah. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about our, our positioning. Obviously, we're we're down to super early. Right. And I mean, I'm not in love with being down the Obstagoon. Oh no, is this the Dragapult? Dude, what a what a sack, man. <sighs> yeah, this feels sus. Uh, what's the play here? Is it always in the Sylveon? Probably. Or Rotom? Uh, Rotom makes makes as much sense. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. If this is another light screen, <laughs> Dragapult. We well, you know so 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 to recap this this uh this Rotom can outspeed any modest Dragapult, but does not outspeed timid ones. But okay. It's up to turns. Time. That's fine. Yeah. Man, we could have stayed in and clicked Hyper Voice again. We could have. What a rip, dude. Although, although realistically, they would know that, and they would out into Gengar. Well, they don't know where Specs yet. Well, they know where some choice item now. Uh, I think you, I think you just hit this thing with an air slash. You don't think we hit it with? Oh yeah, yeah, because we we don't have Thunderbolt on the set. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Yeah, it's gonna do decent damage. Air slash should two hit. Yeah, it should two hit. If we get the flinch, that's good. We might die to. Honestly, I think. Oh, let's see, let's I, I feel like they might play this for another. Oh. All right, so now we super needed. We okay, super need a flinch moved. now. I think, I mean, honestly, getting this weak is, is important. Okay, yeah. so hear me out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm what hearing. Have what? Left? Okay, so this is my they thought process. They have everything process. left. Okay, right. So this is my <laughs> thought process. Rotom goes down. We just go out into Kiram and Dragon Dance. Okay, never mind. Th Rotom doesn't go down. This is Stunfisk. Okay, na okay now we go into Kiram. Or do, yeah. Just going to get toxic. Gamma's going to get toxic. You don't think they're not going to toxic right now? They're setting up rocks. No, I know, but once we're in on rocks, then we get toxic on the on the dragon dance. Oh sure. But I think it might be worth it to get some headway in this match, and then maybe Healless can bring it out. I think that's that's our best line. I, I, I think, I, I think it's still ascend here. We could go for 12 consecutive resisted air slash flinches. Yeah, that's true. Oh, if this Those gets a Okay. Okay. All right, so, so it's just, do, you, do we, okay, so this is my thought process. We, they have to switch, right? They're switching. I, There's no way they're not switching. We're dragging down. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. There's just no way. If they, if they stay in, and toxic us like if they toxic us right in our faces something has gone terribly wrong also now, it's pretty reasonable if the dragapult is scarf this week yeah I, yeah I was, I was gonna say now the real question is would it be worth it to dragon dance twice I if they so. toxic us assuming they toxic us if they switch out into something super threatening then who knows because if the Pult is Scarf, we're basically like locked into dodging a Draco Meteor. Or if it's Scarf physical, then Dragon Dart always picks up the kill here. Oh, they stayed in. All right, yeah, we I need think to they're dodge, just a toxic. dodge a Toxic. I don't think dodge. the Toxic is that bad, though. Yeah, but dodging it would have been cool. It, it, yeah. So now Dragon Dance twice, I think. Yeah, you think so? I think because of the last time that... that that we played, they're not going to not bring a Scarfer this time, and we, and we ideally have to do the most against whatever they have. Okay. And at plus two... At plus two will always outspeed the pull. Well, no, I, I mean, I'm just adding plus two so we know some accurate, like, calcs in general. Okay, they withdrew. Here comes so the that's second a free, dance. That's a free second one. That is the Arcanine, which yeah, I, yeah, this doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. I think they're, I think that puts them in range of, of an Earth Power, or no, they, I mean, they, they didn't take any damage. They might be in range of of a Life Orb Earth Power, but let me check up on that. If it's fully Fizz Def like last time, it looks like Earth Power is a hard roll. The only way to to really shard up is to Draco right now. So we just Draco? I think so. Okay. I was gonna say it, it, it might hurt us against the stun fist, but now that we're in plus one, we could we could just icicle spear the the stun fist and try to make some things happen there. The Draco hurts us, I think, the most against the Cabalion. Yeah. But you know what? We're here. We're here. Uh, I think we might should. Have if they go directly into the Cavalion, then I think we should have been powered, but... Yeah, no, you're right. It was... It was a roll. It was a definite roll, but, um... It was probably a roll that we had to risk. Right. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we... I, th I think we had to potentially try to win with that Earth Power. <sighs> Harris. Who's this? Yeah, yeah, no, that's... That's, oh. that's the Cavalion. So, do we have to stay in and go for Earth Power? Like, what's the... We go the for the crit, no. Uh, I, are we going to get any chances to Dragon Dance up again? I mean, um, if we crit now, we win. I want to point out. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I think mm, I think we choke this one. I think so too. Unfair. I think we hit the earth power. Just go, f just for go for a crit. Go for a crit. That's the plan. It's just like the icicle spear is never doing anything here. This could also be Shaka. Oh, it's not. All right. Well, that's oh, the whole game. Oh, you know, we, we never KO'd it anyway, and yeah, it's weakness policy. Oh, okay. Well. Hmm. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, okay. Wait, don't we still add speed this thing? Or no, we don't. No, we no, don't. Cause it's cool. no, yeah. we don't. Cause because we're only plus two speed. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So, so yeah, I see. So yeah, I guess this thing was always j just click right there. Yeah. So yeah, see, so yeah, we never beat this thing, did we? No, I don't think so. Not this variant. Bulky because weakness policy. Like yeah. Bulky weakness policy with uh, rock polish, probably not. Right. Because it looks like it was bulky enough to always take a regular earth power. Right. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Can we, we have... try to get a hit off with 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 Heliolisk? or not? Um, with Rotom? Rotom. Yeah, we can try. Actually, can no. I just... think this thing is too fast at plus I think, two. Yeah, I think so. I think it's way yeah. too fast at plus two. But um, there's you know there's odds. Maybe they didn't uh, count for Scarf Rotom. <laughs> They just outpaced plus two Kirin, though, so... I mean, we would just go for Air Slash, right? Yeah. Man. Well... I was really... I was really hoping. You know? I was, like, pretty hopeful going into this. I think the team we brought was really good. Like, I said this before the battle. I think the team we brought was really good. They kind of caught us off guard with some of these sets here. I think, legitimately, our only answer to the Cobalion was Delmize, ever. Yeah. I think that like switching Delmize and I don't know honestly like I was super on board with just like leaving if the Savali hadn't gotten curse bodied or Sylveon hadn't gotten curse bodied I was like we need to just like stay in and click hyper voice against they're gonna sub mm -hmm. that was my whole thing like I was like that's the play we need to make but then it got curse bodied and it wasn't a thing because if we did if we made that play the Gengar was at about 25% health or something like that yeah 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 so so yeah I mean then then the Gengar would, would be forced to attack us and and even if the Sylveon goes down, then we can still trust in the Kiram to, to kinda take down the the Arcanine, right? So I'm also pretty convinced Sylveon lives like one sludge bomb from non boosting Gengar. Yeah no, yeah no, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. But 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 my point is that that as long as we prevent a a Gengar sub, then then we clean up the Gengar moderately easily. Right. And then... Yeah. And then and then that keeps the Delm... Oh, I forgot we were oh, here. Oh, wait. Really. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Did we have outs this entire time? This won't kill, right? There's just, like, no way. Yeah, no, we don't ever get there. We can <laughs> KO this, but, but we don't ever get there. Gengar just comes in, clicks Sludge Bomb, and it's over. Oh, man, we had... I forgot this thing was for Beery Berry. I did, too. I don't we don't have outs though. We never had outs. I think Hula we just played ourselves though. Hula list doesn't take hits though. It might take enough hits. I completely forgot that. I I swear, like I I hear what you're saying. I feel like we probably had outs. Not like actual outs, but we could have shored this up between like not a five zero or a four zero or whatever. Yeah, no, we definitely wouldn't wouldn't have gotten four would but it would have been pretty bad regardless. Yeah. Rip, dude. I completely forgot we were very very. I mean, I mean, I mean, we could play through it like in our head, right? So, so if we take out the Cobalion, then the Gengar always comes in. Then we bring in the Rotom. We attack it with the Rotom. The Stun Fist comes in to eat up the Air Slash. Then we lose. Well, I think we just Dark Pulse, right? Like at that point, we're just Dark Pulsing with the Rotom. We could Dark Pulse, but then we never take out take down the Stun Fist that comes in. The Stun Fist is toxic. It was pretty. It was pretty worn down. The Sunfist was like below half. I okay. think we played ourselves at the end. I think we got so busy talking about how how we lost. Yeah, I think we got so busy talking about how we lost that we forgot that we actually had lines. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, at best it would have taken it down to a, like to like a two zero or something, right? What did they have left? The Arcanine. 
No, the Arcanine went down to a Draco. Um, so they, they had the, the Dragapult. Somali, the Dragapult, the, the Gengar. Had the the Savali was pretty weakened. We, but it, but it was also mo moderately bulky, so it probably would have taken two two heal. Well, I don't know. Healerless was scarf, so maybe a a single healerless hit could have done it. Oh yeah, um, healerless killed the Savali from that range. Cause I remember calcing that. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the bigger thing is is if it's a fast Dragapult, right? Fast Dragapult just like takes us out. Yeah. I guess it depends on on what kind of a drag ball it is. Maybe there's a chance that we, I mean, if if he if he takes a single dragapult hit, right, and then we have to oko it back with with um with dark pulse. But let's assume that that happens, right? Then Gengar comes in, cleans up. Yeah. I don't think we had an out that that brought it home in the end. I don't know, man. If, I think if the Dragapult wasn't uh, uh, the Dragapult was scarf, so none of this is none of this matters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, that's uh, we made it to the semifinals. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you know, I I really thought we had I really thought we had good outs here, but. I think just like a little bit of mismanagement of things, like letting Rock stay up for too long, got chip on things, which it wasn't something. They brought literally, they brought literally the same exact Arcanine. Yeah, that didn't surprise me. It looked like think, the same. Well, this uh, one I think close combat. I don't think the last one. Oh, did. that's right, that's right, that's right. Last instead one of what? Instead of. Oh, teleport. instead of teleport. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Um, they also had the exact same Gengar, I believe. The Dragapult is, is really different. The Cobalion is really different. So uh, Molly's yeah. really different. I think the biggest disappointment of this entire season is that we didn't bring Shuckle. <laughs> I don't know. So for, throughout the entire season, I think that like my biggest, the biggest disappointment is that we had Shuckle and we never brought it. So there was probably some things we could have done with it, but also that we had this Gastrodon and we brought it one time. <laughs> I know. But like Gastrodon's but a ga good mon and it gives us good matchups, but it just never came into play really. But ga yeah, Gastron was always super awkward. Oh, man, that's such a bananas Cobalt. So, so, I'm curious. I'm, I guess I'm just curious. No, I guess it makes sense. I guess we were so into our special offense last time that th that they just felt that it was worth it just to bring like random special defense on their offensive setup mons like Cobalion and and Sovali. Right. Yeah. But just yeah. Wow. I I don't know. I guess it. I guess it made them also super soft to Obstagoon too, right? Yeah. Goon going down was, I think, one of the, like... That was one of the hard moments of the match. How did Goon... How did that happen again? Remind he me. died to Savali that, like, a multi-attack. We switched into Oh, yeah, because we just... Cause, yeah, because we just attacked into Savali trying to prevent it from, from flame charging up. Right. Well, also, we, like... We switched in the Silvali thinking it was just going to be another bulky set. Mm -hmm. And then it SD'd in their face. I don't even remember what we switched out of, but we switched into the, the Goon. Also, it's worth noting, this Silvali uh, is walled entirely by Delmize. Like, it actually can't touch Delmize. I think Delmize was such a big player in this. Oh, man. I really wish the Curse Body hadn't gone off. Because if the Curse Body hadn't gone off, I would have been 100% like, it, after seeing Black Sludge, like, we needed to stay in and Hyper Voice again. Yeah. Because the Gengar would have been so low, and then it would have forced that, like, we could have just killed the Gengar, essentially. Like, they would have either had to switch at that point, or... Like at that point, they would have to. I'm pretty sure because the Gengar was super low. How though? I don't think it was that simple. What do you mean? Okay, so they switch in the Gengar to a Hyper Voice. It takes like right. Um, Let's say it took like a third. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it takes fine. like 31 to 36 percent, right? They mm -hmm. sub up. That takes another 25 percent off their health. So they're down 50 percent health. If we just Hyper Voice, if we can just Hyper Voice that turn, they're at 80 percent. Like they've taken 80 percent damage. Yeah. Then we can either just hyper voice again, kill the Gengar, or they have to switch out. Like he just puts us in such a better position, but we got curse bodied. Fuck! But their sludge bombs do so much damage to our Sylveon, though. 
It's not like hella, right? It's like 70%. They would have one chance to sludge bomb. No, 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 no. I, I get it. I get it. But it kind of burns our Sylveon. But I guess that's, that's, your entire argument is that that's better than burning our, our Delmize. Yeah, our Delmize and then like subsequently our Goon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Because Delmize would have always been the check to Silvali. So like we didn't we wouldn't have to like burn the goon switching it in. I'm just like my whole point is like if we hadn't gotten Curse Body, the Gengar would have been in a position where like it just couldn't have done anything, basically. Like because mm -hmm. I would have super lobbied for just hyper voicing again in the face of a sludge bomb. Because yeah, we knew sure, they were sure, sure. like yeah. Yeah, because we knew that they, they were, were non-boosting, so yeah. Right. I think we always knew that they that they were gonna take it decently well. All right, so I don't know how much of that uh, moping made it into the final match, but uh, that's going to be it for us. That's going to be it for our season. We will be coming back with uh, some more stuff coming right after the DLC. That The uh, post-DLC is coming really, really soon, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I think it's just a few more days until the DLC, and then uh, I know that there are going to be a bunch of leagues coming back up uh, in that post-DLC time. But for right now, that's going to be it for us uh, and the TBL and every draft league before this dlc comes out thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back again really really soon after this dlc comes out and thank you to my partner throughout this entire season in vivid color <laughs> thank you for carrying me <laughs> hard carry <laughs> oh man yeah vote. uh content content will be coming after the dlc it's two days right comes out wednesday i believe so, so yeah yeah, it's exciting. I'm I'm actually excited about Pokemon again because the Dex is expanding and it looks good. It looks looks real good. And with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out. Have a good one.